We are in the middle of a war between good and evil. And we are in the enemy's line of fire to emerge unscathed from this battle. One must seek God's grace and cling to the weapons he offers us. One of the most powerful weapons in this combat is the Medal of St. Benedict, a powerful protective shield for people of faith. But before we enter into how this medal can, can save us from spiritual poison, let's say a prayer. We greet you with filial affection, O glorious Father St. Benedict, worker of wonders, cooperator of Christ in the work of the salvation of souls. O patriarch of monks, look down from heaven at the vineyard planted by your hand. Multiply the number of your children and sanctify them. Protect especially those who place themselves with filial affection under your care and paternal protection. Pray for the sick, the tempted, the afflicted, the poor, and for us, your devotees. Grant us a peaceful and holy death like yours. Keep us safe from the enemy's snares at that supreme hour and comfort us with your sweet presence. Please grant us the special grace that we now ask you. St. Benedict, pray for us. Let's pray a Hail Mary to begin our meditation. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Benedict, pray for us. Salve Maria. We've reached the end of our novena. During these days we, that we spent together, We've discussed the symbols on the medal, which provide a summary of the life and work of St. Benedict, with the Holy Cross at the center of all of it. We've learned about the life of renunciation and detachment of this holy patriarch and his struggle against the enemy of God, a struggle that did not end with his death, but continued in his spiritual children and that is strengthened each time a Christian begins to use this medal as an object of piety and faith. Even if you cannot retain in your mind the exact meaning of the words and the prayers, the words of the prayer that are inscribed on the medal, the devil knows it and does not forget it because they are words directed at him and they have the power to weaken and torment him, just as he tries to weaken and torment people who believe in God. The last three letters to conclude our meditation are I, V, B, Ipsi, Venena Bibas. These words represent the response we should give to Satan. Drink, to poison yourself. This should be the attitude of any Christian, to return to evil, what evil tries to cast upon us. We cannot accept anything that comes from the devil, even if it appears to be good. We should carry the St. Benedict medal and recite this small yet powerful prayer if possible, every day before leaving home. I advise you to copy this prayer and always carry, carry it with you along with the medal. 
in times of danger, fear, discomfort, facing any threat or temptation, just pronounce this small and powerful prayer with faith and conviction. It is recognized by the Holy Church as a sacred prayer and the devil has no power over it. So he will have no power over you either. Crux sacra sit miki lux. Non draco sit miki dux. Vade retro satana. Numquam suade miki vana. Sunt mala quelibas. Ipse venenda pibas. May the Holy Cross be my light. Let not the dragon be my guide. Be gone, Satan. Never tempt me with your vanities. What you offer me is evil. Drink the poison yourself. By saying, drink the poison yourself, we are renouncing Satan, as we did in our baptism, and returning to him the evil he wishes to afflict upon ourselves. The battle is not between Satan and us. It is between Satan and God. Knowing he has already been defeated in this war, he tries to strike at us, which is his way of striking at God by hurting his children. The beginning of this war is described in the book of Genesis, where an important figure in the history of the redemption of humanity is placed, Mary Most Holy, the Mother of God. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. They will strike at your head, while you will strike at their heel. We are the heel of the Virgin, the weak point that the dragon, the ancient serpent, continuously tries to strike. We are human, and he and his minions are angels, albeit evil, of a nature superior to ours. And we can never face them only with our own strength. However, God gives us the means to partici participate in the struggle. How? By purifying ourselves in the sacrament of confession, purifying ourselves of our sins, strengthening ourselves with the Holy Eucharist, praying the rosary, offering God small sacrifices, mortifying our flesh and our will and consecrating all our actions to him. This is the path for us to avoid being dominated by the forces of evil. Our Heavenly Father, in his infinite goodness, gave us Mary, and Mary raised valiant and strong children, like St. Benedict, who offers us a shield capable of protecting us. And this shield is his medal and his cross. Let us cling to these bastions of our faith and draw ever closer to our Holy Roman Catholic Church. There you will find all the answers you are looking for and all the support you need to continue your journey towards heaven. When the devil tempts us, let us respond with our actions in fidelity to Jesus Christ, letting the evil one drink his own poison. It was a joy to have you here throughout these nine days where we had an in-depth meditation about this wonderful medal. If you've not watched all these videos yet, I really recommend that you do so. And I'll leave the link in the description for you. If you already have watched all of them, then I highly rec recommend that you watch the podcast that we made about St. Benedict 
and his medal. And the link to, to it, I will leave, I will provide here also in the description. And now, let's say our final prayer. O glorious Saint Benedict, from heaven you are a pious father to us, your children and devotees. Your great power before God is recognized today more than ever thanks to the medal honored by your name through the multitude of wonders and favors that God grants us through your intercession. Pray for all of us who turn to you. Deliver us from the influence of the evil one and obtain for us from the Lord all the graces necessary for us during this life, especially those for which we offer this novena. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Benedict, pray for us. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Salve Maria and may Our Lady and Saint Benedict protect you always. Yeah.